I like that boy Donald Trump. He's just such a real nigga. Uh, Colonel Sanders, you know you can't say that, right? Oh, uh, uh my, my bad. How one loses an American election and then also wins the most admired man in the same year is beyond me. All right, guys. Um, so breaking news, clickbait, clickbait title. <laughs> I don't know if I'll put that title. Maybe I will. Um, but if I did, then I did it. Clickbait title, breaking news for Hunter Hunter. This is huge news. I commented on um, the voice actor. I think you pronounce it Maria Ise. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, guys. Or maybe it's Maria. You don't say like Maria. I don't fucking know, man. You know, it's another language. You know, different dialects, different culture, all that. Um, but anyway, her, the voice actor for Kilua, shit. The voice actor for Kilua commented on her stuff on one of her Instagram posts. By the way, uh, Maria Ise, if you do just so happen to speak English, um, I'm always willing to date up in age, you know. Like, I got money saved up. I, you know, like, when this corona's all over, I'll fly to you. Okay, anyway, okay, I'm being stupid. So I commented on her stuff, right? And this could have just been like, oh, I like the comments of the people who comment. I like all, like, all my comments because she did like the other comments that were all in Japanese. So maybe she just didn't know what the fuck I said, but she was like, oh, I'm just gonna be nice and I'm gonna like it anyways. So maybe I could have fucking post all hell plankton or something, or, you know, good job Nazis or something, you know? And maybe she would have liked it, you know? Because she just, she, she didn't know what it said, but she just was gonna like it anyways. That, that's what this could be. But no, that's no fun, so. She liked my comment, and in the comments, it I said, Can you please talk to Tagashi? I don't even know if you can do that, but still. And as soon as I saw that she liked it, bro, my dick got so hard. I was like, yo, yo, if we get another, if we start getting chapters next year, my nigga, it's not a coincidence. If we start getting chapters next year, it's because of me. It's because of me, and I deserve at least a hundred thousand subscribers because of this me all the way from america got got so much pull so much feng shui so much swagger marty he said she saw me she was like oh i like okay let me like your comment but if i'm about to call up tagashi right now arigato that's not that's not how she sounds she's like like, oh, got all. That's kind of nah. Am I? I'm not trying to be racist. I'm just trying to imitate how I think she sounds voicing Killua. I'm doing a very bad job, and I look very racist. Anywho, she liked my comment, and this tells me that she's about to go, go on her contacts, go to Tagashi San, or Tagashi, whatever the hell she has him saved as. Hit up his bang his line, basically, you know. She about to bang that man line. And she about to be like, hey, look, man. Jordan is is telling you to release some chapters, bro. And Jordan ain't playing no games. <laughs> Jordan will do you like Bane did Batman. Okay? You remember that. You, you think your back hurt now. Wait until Jordan. Jordan will not be satisfied. He said 2021. That's it. And then Tagashi's going to be like, oh, shit. Guess I'll put out some chapters. Tagashi, I will take just 10 chapters next year, okay? I have to see what happens. Actually, no, I don't want to take just 10 chapters. You made us wait two years, nigga. I want 30. 30 chapters next year. Come on, bro. You pushed out 20 like the last time that you was making chapters. You'll give us 30. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And all jokes aside, all jokes aside, Tagashi does have a picture of Maria Issei on his desk, or he did at the very least. So maybe they they do, you know, maybe there is something there, you know? I I, I, I don't know. Hopefully we do get chapters next year. I just want to put this out. Um, 
let me know what you guys think. You think we're gonna get chapters next year because of, because of me because I made a comment, or do you think nah, no way, Tagashi's not doing it? You know what? Even if you do think that, shut the fuck up. Don't comment. Don't 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 comment on my stuff. I don't. Look, man, it's been two years, bro. It's been two years. Don't you dare comment on on, on my post on my video saying, oh, Tagashi's not putting out any more chat, bro. Don't do it. I will block. I'll block you unless like you're like a loyal viewer. But if you just waltz in here and, and you decide to leave some hater shit like, hey yo, uh Tagashi's not putting out no chapters. Just slap this shit. Getting blocked. Um anything else? Anything else I wanna add? Yeah, no. Is that oh that chapter one thousand and one piece? Maybe, maybe me saying that will help feed the algorithm. Chapter one thousand and one piece. Yes, I mean, I, like other people, have read the leaked scans of it, and, hey, look, all I gotta say is, that, that, that was a goaded moment at the end. That man just walked, y'all know what I'm talking about, he's just walking, I thought he teleported behind him, but he just walked past him, and Kaido, old boy, an old girl, they're talking big shit, and Luffy like, man, fuck all that shit, and it shows that, Luffy, at the end of the day, prioritizes his friends over his own ambitions. That's what that shows. Because those are his two biggest threats. Those are his two. He puts his friends over his own ambitions and his own selfishness. Because he could have very easily been immature and just said, Hey man, nigga, I said I was going to be the motherfucking Pirate King. Shut your bitch ass up. But no, he was like, I'm going to go check on my friend, make sure that they okay. Get all my guys out the way and, and sent down. And yeah, yeah. And then then, then I'm like, I heard you, but I got to make sure my guys is okay first. I'm going to get to you in just a second. It, that's that's what that shows. So that was a really powerful moment. That was a golden moment. When that gets a animated, it doesn't even have to get animated. But once it gets animated, it will be considered one of the top moments in one piece for sure it's already considered one of the top moments in one piece but one of the top moments in anime when it gets animated so that's gonna be insane uh nothing else really i mean maybe i'll make a separate video fully talking about what i thought about the whole chapter or what i think could happen maybe maybe not i don't know uh but here goes the outro right here. uh yeah so let's just talk more a little bit more about the one piece chapter in this outro um I guess I'll use this to, to do that. Shouldn't take me too, too long, but it will, it'll take me a little bit of a minute. It's going to be like a three minute outro, <laughs> probably. First thing I want to talk about is I like the portrayal of Marco this chapter. The fact that the man is was able to take on two Yonko commanders at once and it being the top two Yonko commanders, first and se second. That's very impressive. Nobody's been able to do that up to this point. Even the strongest straw hats haven't been able to. So it really does show like he's a different breed that he was able to do that and get Zoro up there successfully. I'd like to see what ends up happening with the scabbards that got sent down by law. Is it a setup for Marco to potentially heal one or maybe a few of them so that they can go and protect Momo so that Yamato doesn't have to have to? You know, because I, I, I would like to see Yamato and Marco going and dealing with the two top commanders. Obviously, some people want to see Yamato involved in the Kaido fight because that narrati narratively makes sense. But look, the way Oda has set it up, it narratively makes sense for pretty much all the big players to want to fight Kaido. None of them wants to fight Big Mom or anyone else, but there's just too many powerful people for them to all get a piece of Kaido. He has to be able to spread out the power. And speaking of that, I think someone has to show up because the two weakest of the strongest generation that's up there, I don't mean that like they're the weakest in the strongest generation. I mean, of the ones that are up there with Kaido and Big Mom, the two weakest ones, Killer and Kid, they're the ones that are fighting Big Mom. And either someone has to join the fight with them that's already there or someone's gonna have to show up and maybe not particularly help them but something happens that ends up like you know hurting big mom and helping them out in a way because killer and kid is not enough to handle you know it's not that not 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 yanko you know what i mean they're definitely not enough to handle fucking yanko 
let alone even like a first commander or something you know what i mean so i think someone has to pop up someone has to show up but if it's blackbeard like i think it'll be i think it has to be a situation where killer and kid is already taken out and they show up needing to fight big mom for whatever reason and whatever happens um because i don't see a blackbeard even if it's like the Marines or something, I don't see anyone else team like helping out Killer and Kid that pops up. That'll be strong enough and significant enough. You know, I just who will pop up? Unless it's someone that's already in the alliance, who's gonna pop up? But everyone else in the alliance is busy. We can't just forget that two of the top fucking commanders are currently like, yeah, Marco has to fight them. Someone has to help Marco. If they do not help Marco, they're gonna get up to the top floor. And then you have two top commanders and two Yonkos. So something has to get. Someone has to pop up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed the outro for the people that, that enjoy One Piece. And uh, yeah, peace out.